Good day grade lemons. welcome to this last lesson on trig functions. In this lesson we're going to be looking again at period changes but this time we're going to be looking at our tan graph and we're going to do it exactly the same way as we did it before where we're going to compare our different tan graphs according to our changes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be plotting some points for tan theta. So let's start with doing that with our calculator. So we're going to go find our calculator and we're going to start off with tan of bracket minus 360 and that becomes 0, 0, that's a 0. Then we're going to go tan of bracket negative 315 and that is a 1. Then we're going to go tan tan of bracket minus 270. What do you expect is going to happen here? From what we know, we should get a yep math error because this is an asymptote, so it's not applicable. Minus 225, let's pop it in our calculator and see what happens. So let's press exit and delete, delete and go 25 and go to the end. And it's minus 1, so now we're minus 1. Tan of negative 180 is going to be tan of bracket negative 180. Close bracket is going to be 0, 0. Tan of bracket negative 135, close bracket, is going to be 1. And if we go to negative 90, what do we expect to happen? We expect this to be an asymptote again. So we go tan of bracket negative 90, close bracket, and that is a math error. So yes, that is properly right, that is an asymptote. So if we look at this, we can see that our asymptote is at minus 270, at 90 and I'm not going to use my calculator for the rest of these because we've done it before in a previous example and you guys by now should know what your basic normal tan graph looks like before we mess with this by shifting it or changing our periods or our amplitudes. amplitudes. So therefore what do we know? We should know that it goes through 360, it goes through 1, so it's going to go up like that, it goes through minus 1, 180 and plus 1 and it does that, right? Then what should happen? Do you agree that this, remember we spoke about last time, should be repeat? So this should be at minus 1, 0 and 1 and the reason it is that is because of the fact that this has got a period the normal time graph has got a period of 180 degrees. So this has got a period of 180 degrees, which we know. So therefore this is going to be at minus 45, it's minus 1. At 0, it is 0. At 45, it's 1. At 90, it's going to be not applicable. 135, what's going to happen? It's going to be back at minus 1. 180 is going to be back at 0. 225 it's at 1 and 270 is going to be not applicable because it is an asymptote and then the 315 is going to be minus 1 and back to 0. So this is our basic tan graph and again like I said before grade 11s you guys should be able to draw these in your sleep. If I had to get hold of your number and phone you at like 3 o'clock in the morning and say to you draw a tan graph, quick go, you should be able to do this, okay. And remember the amplitude on this is not applicable because it goes forever and the range is from minus infinity to positive infinity. Now let's see what happens when we go tan of 2 theta, tan of 2 theta. So I'm changing color and we're going to do all these points because something significant happened. So let's go look through it. So tan of 2 theta, let's go exit and then it's just clear. So it becomes tan of bracket 2 times negative 360, which is, oops, I made a mistake, I pressed the, there we go, let's try now, and that is 0. So that is 0. Let's look what happens at tan of negative 315, tan 2 of negative 315. So this time we've got tan bracket 2 times 
negative 315 and that is equal to a math error. So we have an asymptote at negative 315. Let's look at minus 270. So we've got exit and we go back, delete, 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 and this time we go to 70 and we get a zero. So we've got a zero over here. Let's go to tan 2 of negative 225. Tan 2 of negative 225. So we've got tan bracket 2 times negative 225, close bracket, close bracket, and it equals a math error again. So now we again have an asymptote there. So what is this saying? This is saying that we've got an asymptote over here at 315 degrees. We also have an asymptote at 225 degrees. So can you see what's happened? We have got a zero here. We've got a zero there. So look what's happened. Do you see that that there? This is obviously the markers for the end of your period. And before the period, was what? It was 180. But now the period has become what looks like to be 90. Let's just check that. Let's look at a number somewhere between 270 and 225. So 270, 225, the difference is 45. So I'm going to take 270 and I'm going to subtract 22.5. And that gives me, okay, let's do it slowly, that's 69, that's a 5, 9 minus 7, 6 minus 7 is 4. So let's look at negative 247.5 and see what happens. So we're going to go for tan of bracket 2 times negative 247.5. Oh, I'm still in math error. So let us clear everything and then go tan of bracket 2 times negative 247.5 close bracket and we get 1. Right, so what does that say? It tells us that halfway between the 225 and the negative 270 we're getting 1. And if we go this way, if we go between halfway between 270 and our next bit here, which is 315, we're going to be adding to 22.5. So if we go 270 plus 22.5, we end up at 292.5. And if we get our calculator out again, and we go tan of bracket 2 times negative 292.5, do you see we get negative 1? So what I've done is I've just looked for the points halfway between here to see what's going on. And we can see that what has happened is that my tan graph has become super squished. It's become half the period that it used to be. Okay, it's half the period. So it used to be over 180 degrees. It is now over 90 degrees. So now my period is half of it. Okay, let's now look over here. So let's try tan of minus 135. Let's see if this makes sense. If this over here at negative 225 is an asymptote and if now we're looking at a difference of 90 degrees then this year which is your minus 135 should be our next asymptote. So let's put that in a calculator and see what happens. So we've got tan a bracket 2 times negative 135 close bracket and yay it's not applicable which means that the, that is your asymptote which means that again your graph is going to be doing that. Okay and therefore your 45, your minus 45 is also going to be an asymptote and it's going to go like this, right? And then your positive 45 is going to be an asymptote and it's going to go through like this. 
and then the 135 is going to be an asymptote and it's going to go through like that and again your 225 is going to be an asymptote and it's going to go through like that and finally you're actually almost finally not quite because we've got one and a half more to draw we've got that one and oh my word finally we've got that one there right so do you see that by doubling the number in front of your theta by doubling your k what do you get you get half the period or you get twice as many graphs right so now let's look at tan of half theta tan of half theta so we're going to change this color to green and we're going to pop this in the calculator again so let's get it out and we're going to get exit and we'll just clear it all so now we're going to go tan tan of bracket 0.5 times negative 360 close bracket equals zero okay so that's a constant now let's try minus 315 minus 315 so we're going to go tan bracket of 0.5 times negative 315 and that's 0 0.41 0 0.41 so that's a new number we haven't got that one before now let's do tan of negative 270 so we've got tan of 0 0.5 times negative 270 close brackets and now we're at 1 so we're at 1 so if we had to plot this do you see that yeah we've got 0 this is 0 0.41 and now we're at 1 so it seems like this must be stretching the graph out and from our knowledge from our sign and cos lessons we've had we kind of assumed that that was what was going to happen but let's just carry on and see where we think where we end up next let's go for tan of negative 225 so we've got tan of a half of 0.5 times negative 225 okay and that's 2.41 so this is 2.41 so we're not even getting to our so there is 2 okay that was 1 2.41 let's go for tan of negative 180 or tan half of negative 180 so tan of bracket 0.5 times negative 180 and that becomes 0 Oh, I made a mistake I was wondering so let's go through this again it becomes tan of bracket 0.5 times negative 180 close bracket and that's not applicable so finally we've got our first asymptote at a hundred and eighty degrees our first asymptote is at 180 degrees so do you see that compared to the blue graph the blue graph we've gone from here we went only 90 degrees to get our first asymptote here we've gone 180 degrees to get our first asymptote let's see what happens now for the rest of this so this year was not applicable let's try minus 135 so shift tab so we're gonna exit and clear all so we go tan of bracket 0.5 times negative 135 and we close the bracket and we get minus 2.41 so that's minus 2.41 let's do negative 90 so we got tan of bracket 0.5 times negative 90 close bracket and that becomes minus 1 minus 1 tan of 0.5 times negative 45 bracket is minus 0.41 so that's minus 0.41 tan of bracket 0.5 times 0 should give us the same as tan of 0 which is 0 so let's go straight on to tan of 0.5 times 45 which gives us 0.41 so now we've got that that is 0 and we've got this is 0 0.41 let's do 90 tan of 
point five times ninety is going to be one is going to be one ton of bracket point five times one thirty five is two point four one two point four one that's a point by the way and then, so let's do tan of 180 so it's tan of bracket 0.5 times 180 close bracket equals math error so we finally come to our next asymptote so if we plot these points now from our previous asymptote we've got at minus 135 so at minus 135 at, we're at minus 2.41 at minus 90 we're at minus 1 at minus 45 we're at negative 0.41 at 0 we're at 0 0.41 1 2.41 and finally we're back to our asymptote so our green graph is looking like that so do you see that we've stretched it straight across so now what is our period our period is from minus 180 to 180 so our period is now 360 degrees and I don't even have to go any further because this was just showing you the effects of this where we see the tan of theta the period is 180 tan of 2 theta is 90 a tan of half of theta is 360 degrees right so let's talk about the standard form. The standard form y is equal to a tan k theta plus q where a is your amplitude. In this case it doesn't make much difference except that it makes a difference at the point where y equals 45 degrees. I mean x is theta is 45 degrees. It's because normally if your theta is 45 degrees then the standard form would be y is equal to tan of 45 degrees is going to be 1 but if there is a number in front of this which is bigger than 1 then our y is going to be bigger than 1 but or if the number is smaller than 1 then it's going to be making it shorter and it's going to be less than 1. k affects our period just like it does with our sine and cos so if the k is bigger than 1 we get a smaller period a smaller period and if the k is smaller than 1, we get a longer period, a much longer period. And finally, your q is your vertical shift, where if q is positive, the graph is shifted upwards, or if it's negative q, the graph is shifted down. Right, grade 11s, that is all for you for the tan graphs. Please make sure you understand all the shifts and how they make a difference and how the different things A, K and Q affect your tan graph. Have a great day.